Good morning. IIC Press welcomes you to launch event of the book, Pakshi Jala, authored by Shubha Namakan Bhatt. To initiate the program, may I invite uh, Professor Amrit Chakravarti, Chair, IIC Press, to, to deliver the welcome address. Thank you. Uh, good morning and very warm welcome to all of you. Um, I think every time a book gets published, it's, it's, a, very, it's, a, it's a moment of rejoice for all of us. Uh, as Professor Anurag Kumar, who was the first chair of the IIC Press, uh, said assiduously in every event that we all benefited, you know, during our developmental phases with outstanding books. And uh, it is only uh, fair that we return that, uh, that, that gift. And IIC Press is playing a small role in that. We, IIC Press was initiated by Professor Balram as part of the centenary celebrations of IIC, uh, as, a, as a gift to, to the national international community. So where we, uh, our mandate is to publish affordable, high quality books in science, engineering, and other areas for primarily the benefit of India, that's why affordable, but also for the rest of the world. So many of the books that we publish are from outside India, but at a price point that is acceptable and agreeable by Indian uh, authorship, uh, Indian readership. And we publish books of all kinds, you know, from very erudite uh, books that are probably read by very few people to very popular books that are expected to go to everybody's desk. And uh, the areas, there is no limit, right? It goes all the way from engineering sciences to, to natural sciences to biology, you know, to uh, social sciences and so on. There is no restriction there. And uh, there are multiple different uh, kinds of books that we publish. I'm not going to get into that detail. And all of these are available in a brand new website just that has just been created thanks to the team at, at IIC Press and Office of Communications. And uh, please, you know, explore that and write a book, okay? Just send us a proposal, we'll immediately get it evaluated and hopefully we'll take it on from then on. Uh, one particular point that I want to mention is that uh, uh, I want to sincerely thank the IIC press committee. In fact, there is an outgoing press committee uh, with Professor Dittiman Sen, Professor Prabal Maiti, and Professor S.P. Arun, and the new committee that's just been inducted and will be taking the center stage from the next meeting is just Professor Justin David, Professor Arpita Patra, and uh, Professor um, Mohit Jolly, right? So we uh, thanks very much to all of them for their wonderful work and many hours of uh, hard, hard work in doing that. Uh, we also co-publish with a number of international publishers such as Cambridge University Press, with whom we have the longest standing relationship. We also publish with uh, the, uh, uh, the scientific publications and we are in discussion with Springer Nature for also co-publishing with them. So that gives you a much bigger reach to the outside world in terms of the network through which it can be published. So with that, uh, I, I will, before I close my welcome uh, address, I just wanted to specially thank uh, today's uh, hero, or that's probably a, a, a heroine, I don't know uh, what's the right, right word to use, but Shubha Bhatt, Shubha Navagan Bhatt, for taking this onerous task on herself, which was probably not so onerous because this was your passion, as I understand, right? Because I was just talking to uh, Navagan the moment ago, I was saying that, you know, publishing a book on a creature on which you have very, not a great deal of control depends not only on the, the photographer, but also on the subject. The subject has to be ready and in the right place for it to be possible to be, to be, uh, to be uh, uh, photographed. So uh, a great thanks from my side for taking this fantastic task and also kind of exposing us to a part of the world that IIC had. And I think many of us did not notice. Uh, thank you very much. So with that, I would like to thank all of you for being here uh, and uh, you know, sharing with us this very special moment. Thank you all. Thank you, Professor Amrish Chakravarti. May I now invite Dr. Subhu Subramaniam to introduce us to the book and to the author. Good morning, everyone. I'm uh, glad to be here on this occasion. And uh, uh, it's such a nice occasion that a book is being released uh, here at uh, IAC and it's on birds. We started bird watching in Bangalore uh, in uh, early 1970s. We had a small uh, motley group of uh, some 15, 20 of us who would go out watching birds. 
And uh, this happened when uh, two people moved into Bangalore. Uh, one was Dr. Joseph Jaju who came down from uh, Roorkee to Bangalore to be the director of the Indian Private Industries Research Institute. And the other person was uh, Padma Shri Zafar Fateh Ali who moved on to Bangalore from Mumbai. And when they found each other through newsletter for bird watchers, then they decided to start a group bird watching effort in Bangalore. And we would go out uh, bird watching uh, uh, to different uh, areas like uh, Lalbagh, Kabun Park, Banigata. And IAC was uh, another place we started looking at when another person moved into Bangalore from Pune. That was uh, Professor uh, Madhav Gadgil, who had just returned from Harvard after publishing his path-breaking uh, a publication in RNK selection, which we, uh, went on to become a citation classic. And uh, Gadgil uh, Fateh Ali and, uh, of, in fact, uh, 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 Dr. Gadgil knew Salim Ali because he was a frequent visitor to uh, Bombay Natural Resource Society. And uh, then the connection was uh, very well made, and we started visiting uh, IAC frequently. And in 1977, uh, we published the first ever checklist for the birds of Bangalore. And uh, this checklist had contributions from some other research students from IAC. That included uh, Dr. Raghavendra Gadakar, uh, V. Sudhakar, K. Krishnan, S. S. Krishnan, and a few others. And uh, since then, birdwatching uh, continued in an IAC, and uh, birdwatching took a real upswing. When uh, Shubhabat moved into IAC in 2009, I still remember very vividly meeting Shubha for the first time when she joined our uh, first Sunday bird watching outing at uh, Heba Lake. She came with her uh, husband, Navkant Bhatt, and uh, daughter. And uh, when uh, eBird came into Bangalore, India in 2013, uh, Shubha took to bird watching with a gusto uh, in IAC campus. There she started posting checklists, uh, one in the morning, one in the evening. Sometimes there were three checklists in a day. And uh, we really uh, caught up with Shubha whenever uh, uh, she started doing this. And also, uh, uh, she started as a rank beginner. And today, we are all gathered here to celebrate her progress in bird watching when she has come to write a book on the birds of this campus. And uh, it's such a nice occasion. And this book is not a, a really a field guide to the birds of IAC campus. But it does much more than that. It focuses on the birds and bird habitats. And uh, it also uh, gives a complete checklist of birds of uh, birds that are seen in this campus. And she again uh, uh, provides more details on two different groups of birds, that is flycatchers and uh, warblers, where uh, you get to see about eight species of flycatchers and 14 species of warblers visiting the uh, IAC campus. And the most interesting part of the book is our experiments with bird baths, where she has uh, turned uh, our uh, 200 square feet uh, home garden into a bird paradise. And uh, we bird watchers in Bangalore were really zapped that the kind of birds that used to uh, come and visit our uh, bird baths. We never ever knew that ultramarine flycatchers, uh, tickle thrush, uh, and uh, uh, the Kashmir flycatchers would come and visit bird baths. And uh, uh, we all sat up one morning when uh, she posted the picture of uh, eyebrow thrush, which had never been seen in Bangalore till then. And of course, uh, the book uh, has more details on that. And I'm uh, so glad that uh, Shubha has been able to put together uh, nearly 12 or 13 years of experience into this book. And uh, I'm sure everybody will uh, Love to reading this book, and uh, like uh, Dr. Gadakar mentioned in his uh, uh, foreword, I, I wish uh, IAC would uh, include this book as a welcome package, a part of the welcome package to the new students who come every year to IAC to expose them to the wonders of bird watching in the campus. And I would like to uh, congratulate uh, Shubha for uh, giving us this book, and also for uh, IAC Press for publishing it. And last but not the least, I would like to congratulate uh, Navkant and uh, Shubha's daughter for supporting her and putting up with her odd uh, eccentricities and uh, in uh, going around and uh, looking for birds on the campus. 
Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Dr. Subramaniam, for this wonderful account and for your presence here. Uh, now we move on to the author's remark. May I invite uh, our author for the day, Shubha Navakan Bhatt, to say a few words. I'll keep my speech very short, for sure. I would rather have this book speak to you. First, I would like to thank Dr. Subhu uh, for agreeing to give his remarks on the book, and Professor Rohini uh, for agreeing to release the book. Dr. Subhu was instrumental convincing me to write this book, and he has given many critical inputs and guidance over all these years. Thanks are also due to Professor Kaushal Varma, who immediately liked this idea of the book when I and uh, Dr. Subbu discussed this with him. He provided full support along with Dr. Bittastadas and uh, team from uh, Office of Communication. Um, I would like to thank Professor Amresh Chakravarti, um, Chair IAC Press. I had never thought I would be writing a book, let alone a book to be printed by IAC Press. Um, actually, looking back about 20 years ago, I started my exploration of birds on IAC campus just out of my curiosity as a refreshing and joyful activity. Um, IASC has given me this opportunity and I'm really thankful. And um, this opportunity is for my, you know, reviving my connect with the nature, uh, which was an integral part of my childhood, like of me from my childhood, growing up in the forest of Western Ghats. And um, I didn't miss that part here because IAC is really a beautiful place. Uh, my exploration of birds went on soon like becoming a passion. I started keeping bird baths in my garden, helping to serve the, their needs of uh, water, birds and animals. Thanks to Mrs. Anita Bhatt who gave me the assurance that birds do visit bird birds and sure enough birds started coming along with the, the common birds few rare birds also started visiting and uh, thank you for the rare birds um, i got introduced to a whole new world of ornithologists and birding groups during this period i started documenting all my observations through photographs and videos again not to publish but to share my excitement and joy with my friends and relatives. Many started visiting bird bars to discuss how they could implement the same in their places. This is when a lot of well-wishers wanted me to write a book on birds of ISC. But I wanted a book with um, articles from experts who were here watching birds throughout all these years. I, I couldn't get articles, um, but fast forward to now, you have this book, which is a culmination of all these years effort. I am indebted to many people through this journey and will not be able to name all of them. Hence, I will refrain from that. The acknowledgement section in my book mentions most of them, and I'm really sorry if I may have missed any names in that list. I hope you enjoy reading this book, and I also hope that you will consider placing bird baths in your house, apartment, office, wherever possible. Um, I would be happy to receive your feedback and be glad to show you my bird baths in my garden and um, uh, to take you around the campus for bird watching. Thank you. Uh, now we come to the most important part of the event. Uh, may I invite Professor Rohini Balakrishnan to the dais to release the book? May I also invite the author, uh, Dr. Subhu Subramaniam and Professor Amrish Chakravarti to the dais? Since we 
have one more book left. May I invite Professor Navakant Bhatt to also join them in the dais? Please come. Please come. Okay. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. So IAC Press uh, makes sure that we use a reusable cover. It's a cloth and uh, not a paper that is will reuse it. May I invite uh, Professor Rohini Balakrishnan to say a few words? Thank you. Thank you, and thank you all for being here today. It's a very, very special pleasure and privilege for me to be asked to release this book brought out by Shubha on the birds of this campus, together with the history of bird watching on this campus. Um, I see here mostly friends and well-wishers, and I can see that probably everybody here knows Shubha very well. So I'll keep this brief. This book is first and foremost a labor of love, and I think that would be clear to everybody, and is the sort of culmination of Shubha's incredible passion uh, for birds, and sort of sums up an effort of over a decade, observing, uh, photographing birds, thinking, and writing about them. And that's what has resulted in this fantastic book. I agree with what uh, Professor Gadakar said. I really think this book should be uh, given to incoming students, uh, put out in the guest houses, uh, and very importantly, given to senior members of the administration so they may read it and make themselves a little bit more aware of the rich diversity of this campus. Uh, I think it's a fantastic uh, achievement but I'd like to go a little beyond that. So Shubha is so much more than a bird watcher who's great at spotting and identifying birds, great with her skills at photography. She's a brilliant naturalist. She's not someone who just picks off stuff for checklists. And having, over the past few years, gone out with her, I know just how deep her understanding and her knowledge of birds and bird behavior is. It's much more than being able to just recognize a bird, photograph it, etc. cetera. Um, she's a deep and keen observer and usually knows exactly what a bird is going to do, why it's doing what it's doing, um, which is far, far, far more than simply being a bird watcher. Um, she sort of embodies an extremely precious and dying breed of scientists um, with extreme strengths in natural history, something that we are losing very quickly today. Our students today spend most of their time in front of computers and cell phones. Most of their instruction you know, comes from our boring lectures at, uh, you know, with PPTs and uh, in the classroom. They learn through coding, they learn through watching online tutorials. But at least in my view, no matter what the subject, if you don't have an on the ground feel for the real world, much of that is extremely incomplete and in the end not particularly valuable. And I think this is where you know the kind of natural history that Shubha embodies is just so very, very valuable. And so my hope is that this book, while being the culmination of an incredible effort, will also be a beginning to make not only younger but also older people aware of the joys uh, of the non-human inhabitants of this campus, to experience it firsthand, go out on walks with her, and understand the value of what we have on this campus. Great for young students to do, great for kids, and great for professionals. Finally, I think translational research is such a big buzz, but Shubha has shown us how you can actually do so. How you can convert a very urban environment into such a conducive place that birds will actually come to you and want to be here. And this is one of the reasons that ISC actually still has this incredible diversity. And I think there's much to be learned from that. She's an incredible 
well of knowledge. I learn every time I go out with her. And I do hope others will also sort of experience the same thing. And uh, finally, I hope that this book will have the happy consequence that all of us will be more aware and therefore more invested in protecting and cherishing all the non-human citizens of this campus that we are so, so lucky to share our living space with. And I wish Shubha all the best and congratulations. Thank you, Professor Rohini Balakrishnan, for tying up the importance of the book so well. We have a small token of appreciation for the author. Uh, may I invite uh, Professor Amrit Chakravarti to hand it over to her? It, it, it's a hint, actually. Now she has to get into the other areas also. <laughs> Uh, with this, we come to the end of today's event, but before we disperse, um, I, I take the opportunity from on behalf of IAC Press to thank everyone for their constant support. This is usually uh, the role of Professor Kaushal Verma, the chair of OOC, uh, but uh, he could not be here today because of unavoidable circumstances, so I am delivering the thank you note on behalf of him. We thank the authors for having faith in us and helping us publish quality books years after years. We thank our peer reviewer, the copy editor, the designer for the consistent and timely support. Bringing out a book from scratch is as much as joy and pleasure and fulfillment for all of us at IAC Press as it, as it is for the author. So I would like to thank our office staff, uh, Jayashree, Lilakshi, Deepak, Sandeep, Bharti, Gautam for their uh, significant role in the entire process. It is famously say, uh, said that uh, everyone has a book inside them. So we, from the IAC Press, would like to see this book come into light. So if you have a book idea, please consider publishing with us. Uh, the, the form is available online. Download it, fulfill it, and send it to us. And uh, with this, uh, I'd like to invite all of you for a tea at the uh, reception hall. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming.